what day is it? It's Tuesday. I believe it's a Tuesday. Tuesday Ramble in the studio. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd come on and do a bit of a chat. It's a bit of a, I don't know, greyish day here. Waiting for a delivery of some building materials for the garden and studio. Da -da -da. Um, anyhow, uh, oh no. I think that bit's a bit cold. But um, what I'm doing at the moment is, to be honest, I'm going on a, I'm going on a um, wonderful watercolour course in a couple of, not this weekend, coming weekend, but uh, the weekend after, uh, with someone who I've wanted to do an in-person workshop for, for ages. Um, Jeanette Phillips, um, and... She lives in the beautiful Upper Cumbria, so we're going to be setting up and having. I'm going to be setting up and having uh, a weekend up there painting with Jeanette and other artists. But obviously, we have a materials list of things that we, uh, you know, she will supply certain things. But then, obviously, we want to bring her own brushes and whatever else uh, we might feel like. Then. That's what we've got to sort of get together. Um, and if you're anything like me, it's a bit like when you're going out sketching, isn't it? It's like you want to take everything with the kitchen sink. Um, oops, that's not really very clean, is it? But never mind. Um, so I've already started sort of gathering a few bits and pieces together and thinking, oh, well, yeah, okay. Perhaps do with another one of those and a bit more of that. And, and one of the things we've got to take is our palettes because we're going to be mixing up lots of lovely luscious colours. Um, and these are the state of my palettes. So I'm desperately trying to, because I because I don't like to throw anything away, as you know. Um, so I'm desperately trying to use up whatever colours these are in here. Now some of the colours I know what they are, but this one's really, this little one is a really old palette. And to be quite honest, I have no idea. It looks like some indigo in there and some, I don't know, greys. Um, it's a bit on the greeny side, so I'm not really quite sure whether that's uh, a true colour or a mixture. I know what some of these are in here, and then obviously the middle is just a, a what can you say, a mess. But, so, the idea is that I'm just going to come in here until I sort of go on this course every day and try and use up some of these palette, paints in the palette so that when I get there, such a dog basically um you know when it you know what it is when you meet somebody who you've sort of uh, admired for quite a while and you don't want to appear a bit of a, a dog well i don't want to appear there with loads of colors in my palette that i've no idea what they are let's like i want to start with a totally clean palette <laughs> yeah i know a bit of a hope but anyway so that's what i'm doing this today i'm just going back to my squares and um Where's my favourite? Mm, not there. Um, going back to my squares and trying to use up some of this paint. So, like I say, no idea what this is. It's a bit of... I'm trying to keep all this in view, but I need to work at a bit of an angle, and I hope I've got you in view. But anyway, you get the juice. So I'm just doing my squares, and as I say, not really got an idea apart from this looks like some sort of in yeah indigo which mixed with the slightly greeny water might go something totally different I don't know um and as you know this is one of my favorite exercises to do it just gets the arm moving um a lot of water there, might just mop some of that <sighs> So, where were we? Oh, this little one. Oh, if I could get some well, are these little wells called wells? At least most of the paint gone. Um, 
and uh, you know it's just landscape i'm just i'm just thinking of imaginary landscapes um these are just like i say get the arm moving sometimes something magical happens with them like i'll get more i think oh that's quite nice um other times i'll think well yeah that's got the arm moving and that's about all i can say some of them are a bit rubbishy uh right, i'll go over here looks a bit the same just dropping some in Um, anyway, how are you all this morning? I need your pancakes. I made some pancakes this morning. A new recipe, I think it was out of, um, of the Deliciously Ella app. Um, you know, normally, well, I would sort of, uh, normally would make pancakes the way my mother taught me, you know, eggs, flour, a bit of uh, oil. Uh, but this was a new recipe from, uh, well, well, I say it's new, it's new to me, I hadn't tried it before. With a deliciously Ella, um, it was made obviously with flour, but with almond milk and chia seeds, and there was no eggs in it. Um, obviously some oil. I have to say, uh, they were more like what I would class as sort of American style, rather than flat sort of thin crepe style, uh, if that makes sense. But they were jolly nice. Right, going to get the old store card and get it a bit wet and then I might just sort of try to, what's the word, disrupt, move the paint around Oops. a little, shall we say, I don't seem to have got much paint on this uh, particular square and then sometimes you get more water um, and if I'm thinking of landscapes we don't often get sort of straight edges in the landscape do we but it's just about getting your arm moving really lots and lots of thought that's me all over. Um, shouldn't say that, should I? Everything should be presented to you as if I've carefully thought it out and nothing sort of uh, planned. Uh, nothing sort of. Everything's planned, shall we say? Uh, nothing is spontaneous, but that's that's not my style, is it? You know, we all have our ways of painting. Um, I'm sure. This style wouldn't obviously not suit everybody, but we have to do what feels right for for us, don't we? Um, you know what? That's not to say that I don't can't draw uh, more realistically, but I don't know. May take nothing away from it, but. Uh, it's getting to that stage now nowadays where I think that if I, if I wanted a totally realistic and some of these, I mean, I, you know, don't get me wrong, I admire the skill of these people who can do sort of absolutely detailed, hyper realistic drawings or paintings. Uh, you know, I don't think I could. Um, but that, like I say, whilst I admire that skill that's in, necessary for that. Doesn't capture it for me. Um, right, I've got. I know I get often asked a lot. It's winter in Newton granulation medium. Um, I tend to pour a little bit in the cap because if I get pouring it out of the bottle, sometimes I slip and then I get more than what I uh, intended. I've also got. It's the Dale Rowney acrylic ink and it's the sepia. 
I love the sort of neutral that that these I think it's indigo I mean you know I, but I wouldn't know what uh looking how old the palette was I probably at a fair bet it's not um Daniel Smith it's probably Winter and Newton or something along those lines Uh, I don't know what this, there's a, this little colour, I'm not really sure. Again, like I say, I am doubt it's a Daniel Smith colour, so it won't be anything like, sort of, uh, Tiger's Eye or anything. It's probably black and white. Anyhow, I'm just going to keep on uh, working my way across these squares. Come on, you should be able to talk and work at the same time, shouldn't you, really? Because it's not like, you know, like I've just said, these are all intuitive, so that's the same that I don't really have to think about it too much. quite like this sort of composition this one here although that's not the point of the exercise is it no come on it's supposed to be just going with the flow with these not picking out favorites or because that's when you start to get all precious about it Ooh. I should have shut the door it's just that I'm Trying, trying to listen out for the, uh, excuse me a minute, just going to pull the door shut. Listen out for the uh, builder's merchant wagon turning up. They were supposed to turn up yesterday, but they didn't. So all of it, they're going to turn up today. But so far, and usually they deliver quite early here. But... <coughs> I know you've seen me do this before, so it's nothing new under the sun. Whoops, I seem to have got quite a lot of yeah, ink here. I mean, like I say, these will be just a warm up exercise. Well, obviously once they've dried and I've perhaps uh, removed the tape and see what I've got, that's the exciting bit, isn't it? I mean, I'm not expecting to have much at all of anything on these, obviously, but, um, you know, sometimes you never know. Drag that bit. Quite like this bottom bit. Let's see, I'm doing it again. Can't help yourself, can you? Right. So that's the initial sort of um, smudging about. Whoops. Sure, I meant to do that much splodging there. But never mind. And yeah, in a way, 
it. That's quite good that that's happened because if it just shows you, don't you know, let's not panic about it. Let's see if we can do something about it. And then, you know, if it does happen when you're sort of on a more considered piece, you're not going to like be because oh, you'll know that. I mean, yeah, if you can't do anything about it, you'll be a bit, mm, but you'll know there's a possibility of um, improvising, shall we say, doing something. Right, uh, yeah, there we are. I mean, yeah, to be honest, possibly not used up that much of, um, of the palette, but I've got several of these sheets already marked out. Um, Let's just pop that one to one side a minute. What colours have we got in here? Uh, that's cobalt, Indian yellow, oh, Indian yellow, that's more of a cadmium yellow. That's a mix. I don't know who oh, that's a. I thought one of these, no, I had in my hair that's well, somewhere along here. I had a moon glow, but I don't think so. Looking at some of these, no, I don't know. That's more what I meant to do rather than that big splodge over there, but hey, you know. I think what I would say is if you want to do this, and it's just like, and you see like where I'm holding, this is a, I often get asked about this as well, it's a dagger brush. Well, it was called a dagger brush. It's got dagger on it. It's from Jackson's Art. It's a Jackson's own brand. It does say S stop H006 on it. Um, and as you can see, I'm holding it quite uh, near the tip, like the end of the handle. Uh, and it's really just dancing across the paper. You know, obviously it sort of comes to a, a point. I've got two of these because well, I've got them quite a while and they weren't that expensive, you know. I'm not talking mega books. Um, they have lost uh, a few bristles along the way, but yeah, unless you're going to pay for really expensive brushes. Um, so, you know, they have, as I said, they've lasted quite a while. Um, and to be quite honest, I don't even quite mind the fact that they've lost a few bristles because and it just adds to the um, interesting marks that you can um, make. Right, now I do have a hairdryer, um, but I tend not to use it too much because I, I don't know, I'm drying one bit and then and then I'm not looking what I'm doing with, with it and, and, and then another bit goes off in a a run which is not so bad on these but um you know if it's on a piece that you really like that can get rather annoying um so i think what i'll do with these anyway is just just to let them sort of dry au naturel uh and come back to them I might need to use the hairdryer to get this tape off because this is just masking tape again it's a bit crappy still on the search for some Fabulous masking tape. I mean, I know this paper's, it's the Sea White of Brighton 300 GSM cartridge paper. Um, you know, so it's not like some expensive sheet of watercolour paper, but still, I try not to, I think I've got a black nose now. Um, try not to uh, ruin the surface of the paper if I can. I think it was, oh, it was Jean Haynes, I think, where she says, you know, after you've been, I mean, obviously where I've put the oil pastel, that was what I was laying down first, the white oil pastel. That would obviously be on the surface, but the rest of it shouldn't necessarily disrupt the surface of the paper. Um, so I probably will have to use the hairdryer to get this tape off because A, it's been on here a bit, and B, as I say, it's not the greatest. But yeah, I'm going to leave these to dry now, get some clean water. Um... And then see what I've got once it's dry. I think like the addition of some Indian yellow or some of the 
it's the Jackson's. This is Jackson's handmade soft pastel. It's the yellow oak. Well, it says yellowish olive green. Um, but it, I don't know, it's more yellow ochre to me, but you know. As you know, don't like to admit, but detailed colours are not my um, forte. And that's another reason I want to get up on my colours. So again, I don't look a total dork this coming um, on this watercolour course. Hey ho. Uh, yeah, but anyway, right, I'm going to get some, I'm going to leave those now, I'm going to go and get some clean water and I'm going to have another coffee. Um, I've got to check my emails, I know I've got to fill in an application form for an art fair in September. So, um, I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you've enjoyed your pancakes if you've had them and I'll talk to you again soon. Okay, right. Uh, well, the squares have dried now and I've removed the tape. Um, came off better than what I was expecting. Actually, I did use the hairdryer, but uh, I think it only sort of pulled a bit of this here. Um, as you can see, I think one or two of the squares are a bit um, pale. So uh, I thought I might just go in with a bit more. Of the, like I say, I don't know whether this is indigo. I think this one is a bit of a mix of obviously doing this once you remove the tape is a bit more. Um, It's a bit more difficult. Um, So using some of the, I think it is moon glow. That's what, what I do is on the ones that um, are dry. It's just to sort of show you what I mean about using this, just to add some highlight to it. And it is literally again really being a bit not to get too again a bit like all the rest not to get too uh, caught up in you know that's why I've just not really thinking about about it too much. Um, not one there, just a little bit wet, but a bit. Uh, yeah, it just sort of lifts it a bit. But um, yeah, there we go. Like I say. Um, and then we have the squares. So let them dry again. Just give them a quick spray to fix it and then decide whether I've got anything or nothing or whether there's anything I particularly like. quite like this composition here. Again, I've talked about this one. Um, this sweep round. I like where it's left, where I've left space. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, I hope, as I say, that you're having a really good day and I'll catch you all later.